Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today's uh, video is from uh, a, pa a past exam paper and that is May June 2023 and uh, which was the last last session of the examinations and the first question was basically on cash books. So here the question says, Omar is a trader, the following transactions took place in April 2023. Um, they have given you a set of transactions for a month that is April 2023 and you guys have to record this tran these transactions into the cash book. If you look at the cash book format here, uh, you have to basically record all the receipts of money. So whenever we are receiving money, we record that on the debit side. Whenever we are making payments, we record that on the credit side. So uh, here they are saying, uh, firstly, they are saying paid 1000 into the bank from his own personal money. So what wh what I do is that uh, whenever I'm trying to solve a question, I think of the double entry that is going to uh, be in every transaction. Here the double entry will be bank debit uh, 1000 and capital credit when the owner puts in more money from his personal funds that is capital. So here you have to record that on the debit side because the business's bank account is going to receive the money here. So we record this on the debit side, we write here capital and we need to write this in the bank column because this is being paid into the bank and here the date will be April 3. In the second transaction, uh, they are saying uh, paid $360 to a supplier Alexander by tel telephone transfer. So. Here I'll tell you there are four, uh, three to four terminologies, in fact four to five terminologies that are used in order to describe a bank transaction. So number one is uh, like here they've said telephone transfer. Then we have the other thing is a uh, credit transfer. Uh, we have another terminology which is called standing order. And we have another terminology, it's called direct debit. And the last one, obviously the most common one is a check. So these are all modes of payments, the way which we can make payments in from the bank account basically. So whenever these words are used, you guys have to um, debit or credit the bank account considering the situation. So here, because we are paying money and it's by telephone transfer, we need to record this on the credit side of the cash book so here we are basically paying to alexander a credit supplier so i'll write here alexander so here if you think of a uh, double entry here alexander's account is being debited bank account is being credited so in the bank account you write alexander and what you are pay paying here is 360 dollars and i record that in the bank column and this is april 7. okay uh, the next transaction here is cash sales 695 were paid directly into the bank account. So you write here April 10 and you write here sales. So this is like you sold goods and collected money right away and put that money directly into the bank account. So this affects the bank. You write here 695. Bank is receiving money in this case. The next transaction here purchase goods 340 on credit from Alexander. So this transaction is not going to affect the cash book because see cash book is only affected when money is coming in the business or money is going out of the business. But in this case, when you're buying goods on um, when you're basically um, this transaction is not going to affect the cash book uh, when whenever you're buying goods on credit. So that means you're buying goods on credit from uh, this person, Alexander. So uh, buying goods and credit means that you buy the goods and you basically promise to pay later in future basically so in that case right now in the current time you're not losing any money you're not uh, you're not receiving any money so this will not affect the cash book so this transaction is not going to be recorded here then they are saying april 15 paid 68 dollars cash for petrol so here you'll write here the date april 16 you'll write here petrol and the amount here will be uh, $68 and this, this you need to write in the cash column because they have specified that you have paid in cash. 
then they are saying paid rent 400 by stand, standing order see again the terminology is coming standing order means that when you make a payment on a fixed interval so let's say 15th of every month and the payment is basically a fixed amount so it's like an instruction that you give to the bank that you need to uh, you basically tell tell your bank that pay on my behalf uh, let's say on the 15th of every month and uh, the amount will be a specific amount so in this case it's a it's a fixed amount that is 400 dollars so fixed amount at fixed intervals is basically a uh, standing order so and it's an instruction given by the client to the bank so here you need to record this on the credit side you write here rent and you need to write um, the amount 400 in the bank column and the date here is april 16 and the date for patrol was april 15 so i'll just correct that april 15 um then they are saying received a check 384 from a credit customer sma in full settlement of an invoice of 400 which means that we had in the past we had sold goods on credit to sma and the invoice that we made was for 400 dollars so we had sold goods that were for 400 dollars but since she's paying us 384 that that means we are allowing her a, a cash discount of $16 if you take out the difference 400 minus 3, 384 is 16 dollars so you will record this transaction basically on the debit side because here you are receiving money you write here esme you write 16 dollars in the discount allowed uh, column and then you write 384 in the bank uh, column and you write this April 23 and in this case you're receiving money so you record that on the debit side then again april 27 paid 323 by check to alexander having deducted a 17 dollar cash discount which means we were supposed to pay uh 323 plus 17 dollars which is um 340 dollars but here we are paying 323 so that means uh, you will write here in the discount receive column you need to write $17 so this is April 27 and you write here Alexander and in the discount receive column you need to write $17 which is the discount that you have received and you have paid a check so you write here 323 in the uh, in the bank column of the cash book then they are saying purchase goods 235 on credit from alexander again this is not going to affect the cash book because this is again the same transaction when you buy goods on credit you don't uh, pay immediately you promise to pay in future basically the business promises their supplier to pay in future so that's it now what you have to do is you have to calculate the balances that is balance carried down and uh, if you look at the cash column you have 120 dollars in the debit column that is the total of the debit column and the total of the credit column is uh, 68 dollars so what i do here is i write here april 30 balance carried down will always be on the last date i write here balance carried down and in the cash column i need to write 52 so 120 that is total of heavy side minus 68 that is total of light side will give me 52 dollars then on the um, on the debit side we have another we have bank uh, basically the total of the bank on debit side is 2079 so 1000 plus 695 plus 384 is 2079 and the total of the credit side of um, the bank is basically 477 plus 360 plus 400 plus 323 so basically you have to subtract 207 basically you need to subtract the credit items from the debit item so 2079 minus all the credit values and you are left with 519 that is the balance carried down for the bank column and then what you do is that you just total the um, the uh, the bank and cash here so the cash total is 120 on both sides the bank column is uh, total is 2079 on both sides so I write here 2079 for the bank column for the cash column I write here 120 and for discount allowed I'll just write 16 as it is 
and for discount received i'll just write 17 as it is you should note here that discount received and discount allowed in the cash book are not t accounts they are just columns in the cash book you don't need to balance the discount allowed and discount received in the cash book the discount allowed and discount received column and then this balance carried down needs to become a uh, balance brought down you write here may 1 balance brought down and you write here 52 in the cash column and 519 in the bank column and that's about it that is how you make your cash book so thank you so much this is part a in the next video i'll be solving part b